I'm testing this home kit and with a very high siphon. Uh, water is uh, full flow from the pump yes, uh, without any diversion. I'm checking out whether it can uh, cut off. And the stem pipe is set to about 10 inches for 12, 12 inch uh, go bit. And this is a uh, maximum water uh, inlet. Uh, I, I can put the restrictor valve for diversion to make it better, but I'm testing it up so might as put full flow. If uh, the siphon can cut off at this water flow, then uh, then should not have any problem with uh, reduced flow. I should have put some. Uh, ballast or water bottles, bottles of water in here so they will not need that much uh, water it's uh, almost uh, filling up the bottom tank as you can see the bottom tank is almost to the extreme and uh, uh, we're going to overflow any moment Uh, probably I have to put few bricks or few water bottles in here. It's just too much water. Uh, not so much too much water inflow, but the siphon outlet. It's a siphon outlet where all the aeration holes for the siphon is under water so that's create some kind of uh, back pressure more back pressure for the siphon to cut off and uh, normally this uh, tank will not be right up to the rim and uh, it should have about uh, four inches less of water then the siphon outlet will be uh, um, exposed I've already tested this uh, siphon earlier with this much of water inflow. Uh, however, it was only about uh, five and a half inches uh, standpipe. Now I have increased the standpipe height to ten inches because uh, to have a twelve inch grow bit, you need at least uh, ten inches of uh, standpipe. Ideally, it's about 11. That is about one inch below the, the gravel, but uh, 10 inch will do. Uh, and I'm testing it out now. Uh, it's just that uh, some people will have difficulties in getting the right parts because uh, this this is common where I stay, so I use it uh, to make this bell valve. However places like United States, Australia and even Great Britain they will have difficulties in getting the exact parts. The stand pipe is uh, really high. I put the uh, extender. That extender will take this stand pipe to around uh, uh, 10 inches. Okay. As you can see what is a, uh, something like 2 inches to go. And even the bell, the bell is uh, very long. And equally long, the, the strainer. By the way, uh, I did recommend that a lot of people put uh, celastic uh, adhesive or any glue to to glue the strainer to the grow bit but if you decide not to use any elastic or glue you can use bricks you can um, arrange uh, bricks something like five or six or eight bricks around depend on how you arrange the bricks and it will hold the this strainer okay.
water is running out because uh, the grow bit is not does not have any gravel so you take a lot of water you can see the flushing about to occur I use a 4 inch uh, drip hole on this one on the stem of the stand uh, pipe to get it to flush is easy any siphon you can get it to flush without any problem but to, to get it to stop that's the, the big problem water the pump has slowed down tremendously because uh, water in the bottom tank is uh, running out so the inflow is uh, reduced hopefully you can manage to get it to flush uh, with, with this less uh, water inflow once the, the bottom tank start to fill up then no problem yeah it did flush okay the flush has occurred with a uh, reduced inflow now the water in the bottom tank has been uh, replenished from the top and the back pressure may be a bit too much because of the double elbow use This uh, double elbow type of uh, outlet may create uh, too much uh, back pressure for this particular grow bit. Let's uh, reduce the water inlet uh, temporarily. Okay, uh, what I did is to restrict the siphon, uh, sorry, to restrict the water inlet a bit and uh, the water cut off for the siphon. So, okay, I put restrictor and I put uh, additional ballast so that I do not have to wait very long for the flushing to occur and uh, let's just wait is about uh, another half inches to go for the water to fill up right up to roughly about 10 inches Okay, it's just about to flush. Uh, 
uh, with the restriction there will not be any problem in cutting off so this is a uh, 10 inches 10 inches uh, tall uh, stand pipe For this home kit, uh, I will only make it up to around 8 inches high because uh, the grow bed itself is not that uh, uh, deep. Let's see the water cutting off. I may need to adjust this uh, water inlet. Uh, just make a rough, uh, uh, rough uh, setting. Okay, the siphon cut off. So it's not a big problem for this one. As long as you have the water restrictor or diversion of uh, water, excess water, it's not really recommended to have uh, restricting water inflow because uh, some uh, restriction occur at the pump and it may shorten the pump life. But I yet to uh, really see what effect does it have on a pump because uh, the impeller pump for the, the one that you use for aquarium doesn't have any uh, significant parts internally that can fail okay this is the test of my uh, typhoon in the home kit uh, with uh, 12 inch uh, grow bed height the siphon itself is about 10 inches uh, high okay bye